Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with how I like to do my corn on the cob. That's right, I should have shown you this a couple months ago. Well, actually, forget that. I should have shown it about six years ago because this is such a great technique and by far the easiest, easiest way to do corn on the cob. And if you're thinking, Chef John, I already know how to cook corn on the cob. Even I can do that. Well, I know any fool can cook an ear of corn. No offense. But that's not really what this tip's about. This technique has to do with dealing with this, corn silk, the bane of our corn on the cob eating existence. So whether we're talking about removing this before we cook the corn or after we cook the corn, it's generally kind of an annoying, messy task. But if you use this method, that's not gonna be the case. So step one, we're gonna cook this ear of corn in the microwave. So I'm gonna head over to my microwave cabinet and pop in that ear of corn. And for my microwave, about three and a half minutes is perfect. Oh, by the way, microwave makers, stop putting so many buns on these. I mean, inverter, turbo, defrost. What is that? We don't need that. Okay. But anyway, we're going to set that for three and a half minutes, or in my case, 333. So I save time not having to move my finger to the zero. But basically three and a half minutes. And of course, you could just space out and watch that turn. But I always like to be productive. So I decided to work on my only dance move for a couple minutes. Hey, if you're only going to have one move, it's got to be perfect. And by the way, this method will work even if you're not microwaving. So even if you decide to grill that corn in the husk, this is still going to work. And then when the time's up, we're going to remove that ear of corn. Use a towel, of course. It's very hot. And I'm going to bring that over to the cutting board so you can watch the magic. So I'm going to turn the ear this way. I want to grip it on the tapered end. And we're going to take a sharp, possibly serrated knife and cut off the bottom inch of the cob. And the reason we're doing that is because that corn silk runs from the top all the way to that end. And by cutting there, we've now released every one of those little threads. And then all we need to do is grab that towel and kind of squeeze that tapered end, kind of push that hot cob out of the husk. And because we're gripping that tapered end, where all that corn silk comes together, that ear corn is going to come out of that husk with virtually no corn silk attached. And I say virtually because you might get one or two rogue pieces, but for all intents and purposes, it really does come out perfect. Although technically, this is not perfect until we get some butter and salt on it. So that will be our final and predictable scene. A little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, and I'm ready to enjoy this cob silk free. And above and beyond that it makes this desilking technique super easy, the other nice thing about microwaving an ear of corn in the husk is it stays hot forever. This was like way too hot to eat. This was one of the more painful videos I've done lately, mostly because I couldn't find those little things you stick in the ends of the corn. I don't even remember what those are called, corn holders? That doesn't sound right. But anyway, that's it. Just a nice little short techniques video I cobbed together. I was in a little bit of a rush this morning. I have to go see a colonel about a problem he's having with his ears. So there's just no time for any corny jokes or puns. But I really do hope you give this a try. So head over to foodwishes.com for there's no ingredients. But there's always more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.